Good morning, my name is Cynthia Serum and I'm going to present a review of neuroendocrine origin of PCOS. PCOS is polycystic ovary syndrome and is the most common neuroendocrine disorder in women in reproductive age. Rather than criteria include hyperandrogenism, clinical or biochemical, oligo or arobulation and polycystic ovaries. PCOS is also related to luteinizine hormone hypersecretion, ovulatory disturbance, impaired infertility, metabolic syndrome, and pregnancy complications. Um, there is not a clear etiology of four PCOS, so treatment about mechanism is not possible yet. So the first thing to talk about a uh, pathophysiology of PCOS is talking about an elevated androgen represent a major features of PCOS because more than 60% of women with PCOS are hyperandrogenic. So uh, uh, there will be an excess of androgen and they act through the androgen receptor that are in key sites uh, that are for the development of PCOS like hypothalamic pituitary axis and another site like liver and adipocytes that are important too. Mm, the brain uh, it's suggested to be the main key, si key site for the pathogenesis because it's generating a volatile dysfunction, polycystic ovaries, uh, an increase in body fat, adipocyte hypertrophy, dyslipidemia, and hepatic esteatosis. There are other sites like granulosa and teca cells that cause only the generation of the cells uh, locally at the ovary. Another uh, important site, like I said, is the uh, hypothalamic pituitary axis uh, because there will be an impairment in PCOs. Uh, there's an increase in GnRH pulse generation frequency that causes directly an increase in hormone like luteinizide secretion and an increase in luteinizide hormone and follicular stimulant hormone radio that cause uh, an impaired maturation of follicles. Uh, there will be an excess of androgens and a deficit of estrogens that causes an impaired hormone feedback uh, making, and like uh, we can see, an impaired gonadal esterone hormone feedback. Uh, these uh, androgens are going to act through the androgen receptors that are located in two groups of neurons in our quake nucleus that add GABAergic and candy neurons. These neurons are important because they are controlling uh, the pulse generation of GnRH directly. Um, and there have been seen a lot of alterations in, uh, in these neurons in polycystic ovary syndrome. About candy neurons, uh, there have been seen that in a cells mouse model, uh, there was an increase in kispeptin um, receptor mRNA in the region of GnRH neurons. Uh, this is suggesting a major sensitivity uh, to these neurons to kispeptin signaling in PCOs. And there had been seen a uh, kispeptin uh, increase in hobbies and oligomenorrhea patients of PCOs. Uh, about GABAergic neurons, recent studies uh, utilizing in prenatal androgenicide mice report evidence uh, that there's an increase to GABA signaling to GnRH neurons uh, in PCO's development phenotype. Mm. Uh, finally, antimulian hormone directly stimulates uh, GnRH activity through these receptors that are in these neurons. Um, there has been seen that in patients of PCOs, there is an elevation of, of antimalarian hormone. And in a recent publication, using a mouse model uh, exposure to MNH uh, led to maternal neuroendocrine driven testosterone excess that generates PCOs like phenotype in no springs. So we have seen that clinical observations in animal models have given you insights of neuroendocrine origins of PCOs, opening new opportunities to researchers to look for therapeutic intervention in the development of PCOs. Thank you so much for your attention and there is my email if you have any doubt.